what is up everybody it is october 15th it's like in the 30s here in uh, st charles minnesota me and my buddy are gonna ride motorcycle to duluth um so it's it's a little chilly good thing the sun's out gonna bring you along um we every year do a trip in october so we bear what the weather gives us um so we're taking like the back road so it's about five to six hours roughly getting up there he actually came from sioux falls south dakota this morning so he's been on the road since 4 a.m uh, as you can see his bike sitting here indian challenger so i'm bundled up i got a long sleeve shirt on i got a short sleeve got my cutting edge fitness hoodie if you want one check the links below got my pants i'll be putting on got my coat gonna be wearing my helmet got the neck garter got two pairs of gloves two pairs of socks got pants or pants on and then joggers underneath i'm gonna put the wind guards on and i'm taking my road glide so yeah we'll see you in a little bit down the road It's a BJ's Bar and Grill right outside of Plainview. Doing pretty good, except for the fingers are frozen. Chris, how you doing? Fingers cold. You already put in like three and a half, four hours of riding this morning. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Looking gorgeous down here.
Ah, oh, you look beautiful. Now we're in the town of Durand, Wisconsin. It's a cool, Wisconsin, cool little town. Oh, it's beautiful. Chris, it's turned out to be a great day of riding. Fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. How many miles you got on already? Uh, for the day? For the day, since you started at, what, four in the morning? Yeah, um... To get over to St. Charles, Minnesota, you came from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So that was roughly. about a 200... Like, it's 240 miles. So you've been, you've been trucking so far already. Yeah. That's good. Feeling good? We're going into the cell block. Two or three that way. We're listening. We're we're getting your opinion oh, of, of Duran. How is it? it? Chris, beautiful, what beautiful you, downtown. What'd you think of the cell block bar and grill in Duran? Oh the cheese curds were amazing. Did you like that sampler? That was, you got that the cheese curd good. sampler? Could have had a little more jalapenos in the cheese plate. Eh. It's all right. Otherwise, it's good. Otherwise, it was good. I got the boneless wings with French fries. Uh, very good. I got Parmesan garlic. It kind of tasted a little bit like honey mustard, which was still good. So I don't know if it got mixed up or if that's just how it is. But either way, it was good. Cell Block Bar and Grill in Duran. You got to check it out in Wisconsin. And it's a nice ride down here. And as Chris said, it's a very bar hopping friendly town. Yeah. <laughs> There are plenty of bars on the main strip. It's a cool little town. And as you can see, you're right off the river. Nice American flag. Yeah. Right along the river. Chris, you can go hang out on the beach over there. Heck yeah. Get my tan on. Yeah. It's definitely warmed up. Yeah. The classic Midwestern saying, if it wasn't for that wind, it'd be perfect. <laughs> so true. All right, we're gonna keep going down the road. We'll see you at the next stop, which is wherever the heck we decide, I guess. Yeah. We've put a route together and we just kind of wing it wherever we're gonna stop, but we have the roads that we want to go on, so. Peace. I just want to tell everybody a secret. Where are we right now? 
by the way, Chris? Uh, Rice Lake. We're in Rice Lake, Wisconsin, and it claims to be 48, 50 degrees, and it does not feel like that. Let's see what you feel is. It is cloudy. Oh, hey. Real what? feel? 43. Real feel? 43? Yeah, I think they're still giving them. <laughs> I think they're still giving it some credit. <laughs> It's, it's chilly, it's chilly, we'll just say that. The sun is gone, which makes it worse. We have a side wind, yeah. but the views are amazing. Chris, what do you say about the views? What was views that? Was it? There it is, the views are amazing. Right here, maybe not as great of views, but you'll see some in the ride. Getting the old army pants on. So are those warmer than the coveralls, or you just oh more, God, no. just more comfortable? The or, block wind. The block yeah. wind. That's about it. <laughs> Update, we're in Monong, Wisconsin. Monong. How you feeling? Um, the hands are a little cold. <laughs> the hands are cold. Thought the, we're gonna die. The, some deer, were, we've been seeing some deer. We've been in some out in the middle of nowhere areas. The sun has... We had to go on gravel for a little while. The sun has not appeared since we left St. Charles. So that's been kind of disappointing, but you know, we've gotten to see some beautiful country though. Has it not been beautiful, the scenery? Oh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. So, all right, anyways, that's a check-in. Monong, Monong, Wisconsin. I'm trying to give check-ins so then you could try to do this route too. We should like list the whole route. Yeah. Of what we did. We it's, it's a lot of zigzagging. It is. Oh. But, you know, we kept going east. I was like, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> we're going the wrong way. Yeah, anyways, might try to do it though. Might try to write it out or map it out or do something so that you can drive it or something someday. And you got to do it in the fall though. Definitely a must. 
definitely a must. You, especially if you ride a motorcycle. Especially if you're riding a motorcycle. It would work if you're driving too though. Yeah. It's it's pretty it's nice. Safer if you're driving. <laughs> it's definitely safer. <laughs> the whole thing's been through Wisconsin except for the first 70 or 50 miles maybe yeah not even not, not even, even 50 miles no i don't know but basically once we got to wabasha which that's definitely not 50 is that 50 miles from st charles i should know this off the top of my head and i don't i don't know i don't know close enough anyways otherwise it's been in wisconsin great but yeah we'll see you at the next stop <laughs> made it technically superior wisconsin which is like three miles away from duluth yeah something like that, something like that. right down the road of course we didn't get here early enough to go hang out in duluth so we're just gonna get to our, what is it 6 28 p.m we're just gonna get in our hotel probably order some pizza Order uh, the fight, Deontay Wilder's fighting, Caleb Plant's fighting, so we're ordering that. It's raining right now, but we're just glad to be here. We had, we, uh, they almost, it, we almost went down another gravel road. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the hell your GPS is taking. Because <laughs> that road was under construction, so it was all tore up. <laughs> I was like, oh, what the fuck? So it wasn't supposed to be like that, but here's the hotel that we're staying at. The uh, Superior Inn, it was the best deal around. We got sirens going already. <laughs> That's when you know you're good. That's when you know you're good. Um, it's raining. We did ride in the rain a little bit, so that was fun. Yeah, at, least, at least we're already geared up. So we're already, really sucked too bad. Yeah, we're already geared up. So yeah, we didn't quite make it to Duluth, but close enough. The main main reason we go on these trips is for the riding anyways. Exactly. And we take our time getting up here, we hang out, we stop, we whatever. And if we get there, we get there. If we don't, well, we're close enough and here we are. So yeah, I'll probably show you the inside of the room. See if you like it enough for yourself to stay. <laughs> but all right, we're gonna unpack, see ya. <laughs> Here we are, Chris. We made it. Actually, it's not a bad room, but you know what's cool? Kind of cool, kind of different. We haven't had, I haven't had one of these in a while. Legit key for the door, not a card. Legit key, hotel key. Here's a tour. We got the beds, two beds. Got some nice uh, flower covers. <laughs> got the TV, it's not a bad, not a bad room. Got the sink and the bathroom. <laughs> right. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's what we get for pulling up to a getting... fucking hotel that you look like getting murdered in. <laughs> Hey man, that's how you get the good deals. That's how you get the good deals. It's nice and toasty in here. It wasn't much of a good deal. It, yeah. Oh yeah, it was better than what the, everything else is really expensive around here. So anyways, that's it. Um, Yeah, like I said, we're going to, you know, it actually wasn't that cold. It wasn't too bad. No. I definitely think the temperature gauges were lying, but um, the only thing I got, my toes started getting cold at the end. Did yours? Yeah. Yeah. That's when you know the temp's dropping down because my fingers always get cold, but then my toes started getting cold, but everything else was pretty good. So it wasn't too bad. I think it averaged about, what, 40 to 45 degrees the whole time? 
roughly yeah yeah something like that so sun was gone um sun was out for a little bit but then it disappeared but anyways not too bad overall tomorrow we'll see how it goes but i'm ending this video or maybe if i don't end it i might show a little bit tomorrow maybe i don't know um on the ride back if not thanks for watching subscribe all that fun stuff and take this ride or route or drive sometime when you can especially in the fall october because it's pretty uh pretty nice looking and all that fun stuff so we'll see you later we're out chris you want to say bye to the video bye bye <laughs>